It's Wednesday, January 23rd, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. First up, Fred Thompson probably started today like he started every day on the campaign trail by rolling over and hitting the snooze button. Today, though, that mattered even less than usual because the former Tennessee senator has ended his presidential campaign. Politico's Jonathan Martin and Mike Allen report that towards the end, many staffers felt about the campaign the same way I felt while watching the movie Serendipity. They just wanted it to be over so they could get on with their lives. Advisors say Thompson is not likely to make an endorsement soon, so Fred Heads might end up as mitwits, mechaniacs, or even huckaboosters. Next, speaking of heads, Republican Dean Herbacek is looking slimmer these days as he makes a run for the Texas congressional seat once held by Tom DeLay. Unfortunately, he really is just looking slimmer. The AP reports that one of his campaign flyers features a photoshopped image of Herbacek's head on someone else's thinner, trimmer body. When asked about the picture, campaign manager Scott Brochart admitted it was fake, but said that Herbacek was so busy meeting with voters, he didn't have time to take a full-length photo. You may wonder why Herbacek didn't just use the original photo from which the head was taken, but in all fairness, that photo was less than flattering. Now look, I know it's probably tough to keep off the pounds when you're the mayor of Sugarland, where the town hall is made of brownies and the streets are lined with gumdrops. However, looking at these real, presumably undoctored photos from his campaign website, he really doesn't look that bad. I think if you're, if you're going to blatantly Photoshop yourself, you should go all out. Fortunately, given my natural physique, I have no need to do that. Finally, Mike Allen has some real surprising news. Retired Army General Norman Schwarzkopf is endorsing John McCain today. You ever know Schwarzkopf, the guy from that Iraq invasion that we didn't royally screw up? Florida has a heavy concentration of military families and retirees, and Schwarzkopf's endorsement could be just the ticket for whipping those maggots into shape. His appeals to senior citizens to drop and give him 20, however, are expected to go unheeded. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including why Hillary Clinton chose not to participate in a photo shoot with Vogue magazine. And don't worry, today is Politico's one-year anniversary. And even though I haven't yet completely destroyed Politico's journalistic integrity, I want you to know I'm getting closer every day. Right here on Playbook TV.